was thinking about what to say today, and I thought about this. If you filled this room with mayors from around the United States, and you gave them truth serum, and you asked them what bugs you the most about being mayor, I suspect one of the top five answers you might get is rankings. Because frequently, rankings come out from all kinds of sources. Some are really credible, many are not. So in 2011, I had this wild idea to run for mayor. And about that time, a uh, poll came out, a ranking that showed Evansville was the most obese city in the country. Not a mantra that any community wants. It was really eye-opening. While many of us may have known that intuitively, maybe not as the most obese in the country, it was really eye-opening. So we tried to do a little something about it. So when we came into office on the third, created this program called Energize Evansville. On the third Saturday of every month, we lead a community exercise program. And the whole idea is to make people more cognizant of their health, encourage them to be active in the community, to exercise. We encourage scout troops to come out, church groups, uh, neighborhood groups, families. We have a little bit of everybody. We've partnered with almost every organization in the community. We've partnered with the Deaconess Healthier U Walks. We've done events at Tri-State Racquet Club. You name it and we've been there. We've done pickleball. We've done hip hop line dancing. We've done regular line dancing. We've done water aerobics in the winter and in the summer. Some, month, some months we might have a dozen participants some months we might have a hundred, but we can do more, and we need to do more. Initially, that program generated a lot of media coverage, but I don't think they realized we'd continue to do it. So on the third Saturday of every month, at 9 a.m., we're out doing it. Last month, we were at Lorraine Pool doing water aerobics. This month, we'll be at uh, Westman Park doing a walk and having doctors there to talk to about what ails you. It's one small thing the city of Evansville is doing. For those of you who live in the city, we encourage you to get out with us on the third Saturday of every month. It can't be the first Saturday because we're picking up trash. <laughs> but it's one thing that we can do to help energize our community. So the other thing that rolling back to when we first came into office that was really disheartening was that Evansville and Vanderbilt County always led the state in the number of meth labs. Again, not something you want to lead, be a leader in, but it was not unusual for the city of Evansville and Vanderbilt County to have well over 100 meth labs in a year. And frequently that number would rise to 120 or 130 in a year. So I asked Dr. Bill Wooten to help me uh, and we, for, we formed the Mayor's No Meth Task Force. And we had a single mission, and that is to help reduce the number of meth labs in the city. And we used all kinds of awareness tools. We had televised town halls. We went out into the community. We spoke to neighborhood associations. We engaged the community. And eventually, that tide began to turn. We no longer lead the state in that category. We now have about 40 or 50 in a year versus 110 or 120. So we're making progress there. As that began to change and opioids really started to take hold in our community and others around the state, we changed the focus of the Mayor's No Meth Task Force. We wanted it to be more nimble, ready to respond to emerging trends. So we call it the Mayor's Substance Abuse Task Force. We expanded the group developed a really robust website. The idea, again, is to be a resource for the community. We're exploring a number of possibilities in the state. Just recently, uh, Dr. Wooten and I toured uh, the Warm Center in Henderson, which is a phenomenal regional treatment center for women. 
We'd love to be able to replicate something like that in the state of Indiana. We took the lieutenant governor there, she was really impressed. And there are talks underway about how, what that might look like if we were able to do something like that in Indiana. We raised our hand and said, we'd love to be a pilot. That's going on. The Mayor's Substance Abuse Task Force is also exploring the, the possibility of having fast teams or fast action support teams ready to respond to families in crisis when their loved ones are experiencing an overdose or some sort of crisis because of, of drug abuse. Coincidentally, a number of us are meeting in the mayor's office this afternoon. The leadership from the two, hot, the two healthcare systems in the city are meeting to talk about that very issue. So there's a lot going on. But as Dan said, a lot more can be done because these statistics, the numbers that no mayor would like to see a part of their city, related to their city, and certainly no governor or state administration or state legislature will, le legislator would like to see that and be proud. We can do better. We need to buckle down and do more. Our administration is willing to do that, and I know everyone in this room is willing to do so too. Thanks for being here today to have discussions that might be a little uncomfortable, but certainly required for any city, but certainly a city like Evansville that's trying to be bigger and better. Thanks for being here today.